Alrighty, welcome back everybody to episode 25 of the F1 Manager 96 playthrough with Arrows. Last episode was a fantastic one. I will try not to spoil it. But uh, I would urge you, if you've been watching the series and haven't seen that one yet, to go ahead and watch that first. And uh, yeah, so we're up to Monaco now. So let me just load this up. So what I've done, in light of the fact that we have a pretty good car so far this year, I've gone ahead and I'm starting to build some four star stuff. At this stage we have the side pod, an air intake, fuel tank, ground plate, and a nose cone. I'm not going to build the rear cowling because I currently have it being built. Building three of them from Sauber. So we've got a few parts that we need to do, but we need to head off to the race. So let's uh, do that right now. It's going to be a one stopper. So let's just uh, get into it. We're off to Monaco. Is it wet? It is a wet race. Of course it is. Alright, so that's gonna throw a spanner in the works. So typically a wet race you don't need as much fuel. Well, and it's also Monaco, so you definitely don't need as much. So 78 lap race, so lap what, 39 and 40? Should get us home. Of course, in real life, Olivier Panis won this. In 96, anyway, not 97, of course. 97 was, uh, I think it was Schumann, wasn't it? And we'll crank up downforce a little bit more, actually, since we in the wet. And I think we will, what do you do? You generally you soften the suspension, right? In the wet condition, so we'll try that. And hopefully we can uh, do something. Yeah, the design parts were taking a while to go through and build, so that's why it came up saying, you have to leave tomorrow, otherwise you'll miss the race. <laughs> so, well, that's okay. So we have the wets on now. I don't know how we'll go in the wet here. Could be a bit of an interesting one. We have maxed out our car now. Every single part is taken, 100% occupied. 20 sponsors we're not going to take um, Goodyear I don't see the point so we'll probably re-sign these two unless we want to go after someone else I guess I mean uh, Mika wouldn't be bad but that salary is pretty high that's the thing I like about these two their salaries are pretty low But, um, Mikasalo wouldn't be bad. Blondell hasn't got a contract for next year. I do like Andrea Montemini, but he's a bit OP in this, so we're not going to sign him. Rubens is good. The issue with Rubens is if you win the title with him, he gets a lot of money, 300 grand per point, and we're getting 150 grand, so, yeah. <laughs> we 
we're not signing Frenson, even though he is one of the best drivers in the game. We could potentially try and get DC. Shumi, uh, that's a lot of money. So probably not. Uh, Irvine's not bad. Damon and Jacques. Again, that's a lot of money. And same with Gerhard and Jean. So there's not a whole lot of options, I don't think, here. Um, unless we go off the board, which we potentially could. You got Luca Padoa. I'm just looking at the stats down here first and then we'll see if anyone's good. jean Christophe Bouillon, not bad. David Brabham. Should be an Australian flag, I'm pretty sure, instead of an English one, but doesn't matter. Eric Kermas. Fissi Keller. Not too bad. I could potentially boost him up. Fittipaldi, Bertrand Gasho, Giovanni Lavaggi. Oh, I could bring back Pierluigi Martini, that'd be interesting. Gianni Morbidelli, Hideki Noda. Zanardi wouldn't be bad, because I mean, I can bring up his fitness, so that'd be an interesting one. Maybe bring back Zanardi. How good is he in comparison to Verstappen? Oh, he hasn't got the talent, so it's probably just better to keep these two, I think. Yeah, so I think we'll just keep these two, at least for now. They usually get some more drivers um, starting in 98, I think. So, uh, let's get into it. Let me just get rid of that screen. There we go. Alright, so a minute... 40 lap now. Alright, well, uh, let's see what we have. I'm not expecting a whole lot here. In the wet conditions can be pretty dodgy. But, hey, it doesn't matter, I guess. Alright, so I did a 36. And a 35. And we're nowhere. Alright. Well, Verstappen just popped into the top 9 there. With a 34.9. Alright, so Panis does not have a particularly great setup. Alright, so we used 11. That's all we used. Alright. Don't need to change the tyres today, do I? So we'll go back to 15, I think. Why don't we go even harder with him? And one tick up on the rear wing. Try that. Don't know how this is going to go, but you never know. Forty-seven should be good enough. Oh, 
All right, so Frentzen is fastest. 87. Yeah, we're pretty struggling in the wet, I think. Nope. Basically, they're at the same time now. Okay. And did we stick with 11? We probably stuck with 11. Oh no, we did 10 that time. Okay. Cancel that. So we do want a new set for Quali. Jack Verstappen's wing up as well. Alright, let's see. Uh, I think we'll go straight out. While it is dry. This will either be a really good idea or a really bad one. Three teams are out currently. And still three, so we might get a clear lap in. I always struggle here. Well, they're in the 34s. Too bad. Speed the time up a little. Halfway through the session. See if we can do anything with this. I don't know if we can, but you never know. Hopefully we can. Well, they're right on each other now. Maybe went a bit too close there. Uh, Alright, so now we need a new engine. We do have a fresh one. And a fresh set of tyres. So where are we? We are... Yeah, this is going to be a tough one, I think. Alright, so we're at 10 minutes now, so we'll wait a little bit more. And we shall head out now. Send out the Stappen. And out Ollie. So then what I gotta make sure I do is put the right tire on. I've done that before. Put a slick on and it's been bucketing down with rain. Yeah, so if they didn't improve their time, that's okay. 
Oh, Panas did. Never mind. Alright, so we are almost ready, I think. Let's lower this down. So, we have... We're doing 10, right? 10 for 6 laps. So that's 12. That's 30. That's 40. So we are 6th and 11th, not bad. We just get back here. So yeah, so that's 40 litres. So I think we will... So basically, yeah, I just need... 140. New engine, new set of tires. Yeah, I'm not sure how this race is going to go. I think uh, this might be pretty ordinary for us. So we'll just make sure we have enough. I presume it's still 78 laps. That hasn't changed at all. Yeah, good. All right, so I think we're looking good. All right, let's uh, see what this brings. A wet Monaco, just like real life in 97. It was chucking it down then as well. So let's see. Speed this up a bit. Oh, oh, Ollie. That's bad. Decesaurus. That's real bad. Hakkinen's out. Mansell. Oh, Burger's done. Alright, so Verstappen is ready for a pit stop. Uh, that's uh, not good. Alright, so we're not going to score points today. Love to know what happened with Ollie. Oh, Rubens is out. No second place for Rubens in this one. Point two, not bad. All right, so let's speed this up. Suzuki. Oh, Shumi's out. Salo. Don't tell me we're actually going to score a point here. Frenson's done. Irvine's done. <laughs> Brundle. Okay, we're going to get a couple points, I think. It looks like Damon might get his win. After the heartbreak in 96, when he blew an engine. Dominating the race. I will take P5. Gladly take P5. Oh, oh Lacey. <laughs> Damon doesn't get his win. <laughs> Alright, so let's see what happened to Olivier. Blew a radiator. Okay. Interesting. So that's not good. It happens. But yeah, that's that's definitely not good. 
All right, so let's uh, see what we have. So I've got to see how much this costs to fix. Oh, I already fixed it. Never mind. All right, so what do we got next? We have to Canada next, aren't we? Oh no, Spain. Okay. When's it coming up? We depart in seven days. All right. So not terrible. The Spain typically is back to our 15 and 13 or 16 and 14. We'll try 15 for that one. We will repair this one even though we're not going to be using it again. Actually, no, we will be using it at Hungary, won't we? Never mind. I take that back. So, uh, a mixed race. That one, I think. Alright, so we've got the nose cone as well. No repair, ne no repair necessary. Alright, so we're back normal here so Spain is typically a three stopper sorry a three stopper a two stopper so I think that's what we'll do and we'll just use the a compound in practice I don't think we'll be able to make it a one stopper it's usually pretty harsh on tires so Let's see how this is going. Oh, our air intake is made. So that's good. So let me start building that one. So we want four star here. So there you go. So I need three of those. So currently we have the rear cowling being made, which is a Sauber one. And then our rear. Oh, do we have a? Oh no, we don't. Okay, I'm gonna say so it's gonna take a while, but that's all right. Now, of course, the other thing that we will need to look at, and I'll probably take a look later in the year, probably halfway through after Canada, I guess. So in a couple episodes' time whether or not the four star stuff is better than what we currently have. I don't want to go five star yet, but I feel pretty confident that we can go four star. Right, so we are second in the point still. Uh, our sponsors are happy or not? Yeah, the sponsors are still happy. Yeah, they are very happy. Everyone's happy, okay. And we should still have like 90 grand. Yeah, 89 mil. I think we'll be fine for the rest of the year. I'd be very upset if we miss on that. Alright, but that's going to be it for this episode not a bad performance before I forget I forgot to change over this didn't I or did I no I did I did change that never mind all right so that's going to be it for this episode 25 a pretty successful Monaco I think so thank you very much for watching everybody and I will catch you next episode when we head to Spain see you later